I've got TB and a quick draw. I want to get fairly tight to it. Now, anybody who's going to be working range, I'm going to need you to feed right on this. If anybody's running short, it's going to stay towards the top of the call there. We're going to come out. I have you in the griff. Griffin griff. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, that's the thing. we got to get to brawling range, so I may be moving us you know, right up to the hoop if we have to. Wolverine or Charlie Fiel? That's fine. Chill, chill. Out, man. That's fine. It's just a five starter. Don't load it in with none of them. Fifteen seconds. Yeah, exactly. Don't, don't die. Guys, we're Fifteen seconds. Don't die. Guys. Three, two, one. Charlie Dar, CT, yellow. Okay, go to the police if you go. Dar, to your left, there's there. Thanks, Sorry, Richard. So, these guys are in the indie pocket. They're in the indie pocket. Medium speed, prepare to pull back E40 towards the E5 border. On my mark. Weapon side! Come on! Come on, Charlie! Charlie, 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 Skill. I'm sorry that you died, sweet girls, but we will send a reasonably nice letter to your family. and welcome to today's matchup this is uh which div are we h between historics hook swords and the 2d20 saber goose these two teams are currently the top of their division separated by four points we are 23 to 20 sorry three points uh after all was said and done last week with me is direwolf hey 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 what's going on everybody yeah all right so first off we're gonna start with the duels um and actually we are um we're green boarded right now oh i need to get direwolf in here uh first hang on real quick okay there we go all right dire 
is in. This is uh, trial night gears for both teams. So let's go ahead and launch and get into it. So many matches being cast today. It's great. I think we've got all three channels going right now. So if you want to watch three streams at once, MWO Leagues 1, 2, and 3 are currently broadcasting. Which is fantastic. Uh, so to talk a little bit about the uh, the Night Gear trial mech, right? Yeah, it sure, is, go for it. Um, so it's Night Gear H, right? So it's already going to be quirked a little bit for that Goss cooldown. And the primary build for it's two Goss and ER Large. So the one for the trial mech is exactly the same, and it has ECM on it as well. So your big damage num your big damage weapon system is going to be the Goss. So and you will see a lot of the higher players kind of almost pop tarting with it essentially. So. Yeah, the mounts are quite nice. We can kind of look at them. Oh, we're moving here. Uh, well, there's a laser in the head there, and then we've got the arm. So yeah, keep an eye out for those pop tarts. As X is uh, uh, most. Most folks are taking the left ramp, and today is no different. Scrappy Metal Can over on the other side, opening with the Goss. X is getting it off second. Now, the other thing is it's good to shoot the Goss first uh, because you can make the other person's aim wiggle a bit first uh, while you get your burns in, if it works. All right, X is taking yeah. the top, Scrappy taking the bottom, and we get some more yeah. trades. Yeah, again, you're talking about firing the Goss first, because again, the Goss is your primary damage weapon system, right? So, and a lot of the times people will use the ear launch and then fire the Goss to kind of trace the Goss in, but you want to be able to surprise them. Yep. Looking at what we've got here so far, Scrappy Metal can't and taking back damage. Interesting, must have over-twisted or something. Um, that's why we're at 84 here, but that CT is starting to really soften. We are into the red at this point. Hang on, let's get the team scores up here. Versus X's, with, who uh, spread all over, damage spread all over, still at a cool 87, waiting for Scrappy to expose. And there's some decent hits by Scrappy. I'm willing to bet... Uh, no, that was a side torso hit here. We're just going trade for trade. No. And there we are, open and very hurt on the CT here for Scrappy. X is closing, and I didn't even see the shot. That must have been the Gauss. Yep. Uh, well done by X's. And we will uh, record that win. Yeah, obviously the, uh, the wins and the damage numbers, right? Uh, X's got 280 with Scrappy only doing 135, so he was able to land a lot more Goss shots. Because that's 30 pinpoint per trigger pull on that. Yep, that is that is significant damage. Then the follow up on those large lasers was was being held very nicely as well. All right, swap in size. Have you uh, have you seen any? Any fun matches so far? I know you're doing this week in comp, so... Yeah, um, um, I'll be seeing a lot of clips. That's There's a lot of hours to watch in that, so obviously I don't see them all. Um, hang on, let me get this set up real quick. I did uh, 228 versus Mantra earlier today. That was an interesting match. Um, there we are, Magic Factory. <clears throat> Now, if I remember correctly, this uh, set of 2v2s is the Assault and Medium. Uh, yes, this is Assault and Medium. That is correct. So there's a little bit of like a... Uh, a little bit of a thought process going through, especially with Mech, fac mech Factory, um, for whatever you want to do. If you want to do a Brawl, you want to do a little bit of Receive, kind of do a little bit of a hybrid assault or such. Because I don't know if you knew this or not, but um, Mech Factory is the hottest Solaire 7 map. Is it really? Yes. Interesting. Uh, yeah. All right, both, both teams, teams are locked. Go ahead and launch. Yeah. I never got so off the match five... screen, so we're just going to go for it. <laughs> it's all good. Um, so f there's a five-ton difference between the two teams. Which isn't a lot, but could also be a lot. It could be the difference of a Shadow Cat versus a Viper. Um... I'm blanking on other 40s and 45s and 95s and 100s. I know, like, you got the Dire, Stone Rhinos, um, which I do expect we're going to see quite a bit. 
So that is Historics taking the win on that first one. Yep. With one point. So, okay, getting that set up. So from 2D20, we have a Spirit Bear and a Viper F. Very, uh... Very usual brawl. Um, they're definitely known for it. The Spirit Bear is running LVX 24 SRM 6 Artemis and two Flamers on there. And then the Viper F is running eight Heavy Machine Guns, five ER Micros. So a little bit more of a DPS build. Slightly uh, slightly suboptimal there, but it's going to be able to do the damage just fine. Then you got a Marauder 2 CD with two LVX 20s, two Medium Pulse, and a Laser AMS. Um, expect that Laser AMS to take out any of the missiles from the Spirit Bear. Yep. Um, and, and we then got, uh, got two LBX 20s. Yep, on the hunchy. As so, we come into the middle, go ahead, Dyer. Uh, straight off the bat, I think mech lab wise, I think I'm gonna take it, give it to 2D20 just right off the rip. Um, I think so too. If that spirit bear yeah. can get in there. Um, yeah. Although the spirit bear is kind of nope. Here we are. They're linking it up. If the spirit yeah, goes in alone, I think him. it falls gonna... fast. Ooh, yeah, they're split's gonna catch, gonna get... they're gonna catch. Yep, there we go. There it is. Arms, arms open here with uh, some good back shots. Um, arms not useful. I'm just trying to keep up with this ring around the rosy here. There we go. Yeah. There's the angle split here. <laughs> Being chased yeah. by Zane the rear Corsair. Split one, he's halved. There we go. So yep. right now, if I'm 2D20, Vipers. Yep, there you go. Perfect. Vipers shift right over to the uh, to the Mac. The Marauder. Marauder. See, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but they needed one of them to stay on the hunchback to finish it off. Yeah, that hunchback is just laying in his yeah. I'm sorry, did he just leg? Going for yes. legs while you've got back shots. And he, shut down, he shut down uh, Zane. Oh, Zane got no. killed there. Come on. <laughs> Split should have just off. taken the back shots, honestly. Took way too long mm -hmm. to kill something he had dead to rights. Uh, the Marauder 2C is about to go down, I think. He's left leg in half. Yeah. Um, and then split the Viper one hundred percent can win this. Oh, absolutely at eighty three percent. Yeah, at one hundred. This... Here we go, going for hit mana. Got that around. Nope, nope. gonna Turn keep on moving. Finish it. Finish him. Nope, we're gonna run into split. Yeah, he's he's making this. He's basically fighting this in a two v a two v one scenario. He needs to split this up. And get it is split, split. and hit. It yeah. is well, it yeah. is imminently yeah. splittable and, and he's he, this is going through he's, the CT going for the leg. I think it's the wrong leg. There it is. There we go. Head yeah. mana finally now, down. Now for split. Corsair legs uh, now. Uh oh. Mm. How bad's the other one? Other leg still has some armor. We're gonna get nice up close and personal here due to my carry. And right there, there we go. Perfect. Again, a little sloppy, right? A little sloppy, a little bit miscommunication probably, but at the end of the day they were able to pull it. Yeah. So that puts them up in the lead with three points. Uh, actually, that will be four points. For time. Um, hmm. Because not only do they get those kills, they get um, that that secures the hook swords. The win. No, I'm sorry. That was 2d20. I had that backwards. Go oh, backwards. <laughs> um, let me fix this up. Get the win there and move yeah. over to two. That so will tie it up at two. Tie it up at two. Awesome. So if you're looking at it right, 2d20 great communication synchronized synchronized of the builds and everything 500 damage a piece and then you're looking at sabers a little bit split there 412 for the marauder 287 for the hunchback um i think just some slight mech lab changes and i think this would have been a lot closer of a fight than what it was and again just a little bit of different strategy yeah i think the strategy is what uh what came into play here um all right hang on let me get the side swapped here yep. so now with boreal I'm expecting to see Daka straight up, or because it's it is uh, you're heavy and light, so I'm expecting night gears, rifleman two C's. You might even see a Timberwolf if you're gonna push. Probably a skull is gonna be really good here too. Maybe um, we've seen the warthog get used a lot as well, especially in some of the higher level divs. Uh, I know div A vile versus DSC, both lights were brought as uh warthogs, so. You kind of get in a little bit of the mix. Yeah, that's certainly an option. This one is this one's uh, heavy light here, so yeah, could could bring some DACA with those with those warthogs. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw missiles, honestly, some short rangers. Yeah, some straight up, straight up grown man brawl. Yep. Yeah, this honestly could go either way, um, or it could end up being real tradey. I've I've seen. Um, I think the Div A match earlier 
that I casted was basically a brawler and a trade on either side um, with the yeah. screen. Which, I mean, makes sense and it works, right? Because oh, yeah, you totally. have your docker guy, to tra you basically split it into two different 1v1s. Yep. You no, know, you have the, bra the brawl guys going at it with each other and then you have the trade. And whoever ends up winning one of those 1v1s can automatically go in and help. So that that's the test of skill, right? Is can you beat your mirror match? Oh, right. Yes, absolutely. Let's see what uh, we've got. A hundred tons here on the sabers, which I think is a little light. What's a max? Max ends up being like what one ten, I think. Seventy five plus thirty five. Yeah, one ten. So yep. they're ten tons under. That could be significant. Um, unless they've got a got a good game plan here. Both teams green boarded, just waiting for the lock on team two. Any second now. All right, let me check in with him. Nice, nice. Yeah, 2d20, bringing max tonnage. Yes. Yep, yep. Okay, there that we means go. They're going to have more armor, more guns, more speed. Not necessarily. <laughs> they may not have more speed, but they will have more armor, more tons, more weapons. Yeah, more gun. Yeah. Yeah. More Daka Daka Daka. Yeah, assuming it's Daka. That being said, we could be so, going for quick on um on his on the saber side. So something to yeah. close it up on there, and that could be our ten tons different, which could which could work out. Um, both teams going for legs, even when quite Ooh. frankly legs is not the play. Yeah. Um, Sabers, interesting. Yep. I yeah. Interest. I'll go check out the other team here. Um, if you want to talk about what's over there. Yeah, so we got two Proto AC2s and two Beam Lasers coming from the Ebon Jack oh. D on from Elfcat. So really big DPS. And then, of course, 14 AP Goss, one medium pulse laser for the Adder W. What do we got over there? Yeah, so um, same on the uh, Warthog. And we've got a Brawl Orion with a couple of Flamers. Mm. Again, They're gonna that push. could be huge. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Yeah, that, the Proto ACs and Beam Lasers, that's a choice. The Beam Lasers especially, because that's, what, five, mm. uh, five damage per second on each of them? But, oh boy, you got to stare. Oh, no. You, High Roller just yeah. rolling into yeah. it. He, with, like his namesake, but he needs to hurry up and... Oh, yeah, do some damage. He, that leg yeah, is yeah, open. Yeah, do something quick. Quick. He needs to get in there quick. Ham right, needs Ham to get is... in there, start deterring. There yep. we go. Yep. Come on. Um, I think it's too much. I think they're too little too late. Uh, High Roller shuts down, uh, yeah. giving them the easy leg pick. And then here goes uh, Hamtown, F Elfcat getting the beam lasers on those legs. Yeah. Uh, again, and... Left Flight is ready to go off of Elfcat, but... Yeah, uh, but Ham Hamtown is, to... is also short on a leg here, too. Not quite open, but probably one or two damage so, away. There it is. What it's Ham open. needs to do is he needs to focus Historic, because Historic is the the closer one to being killed of the two. Oh yeah. Once, yep. once again, it's that same concept. Split the one v one. Split the two v one into one, yep. two two one v ones. I he's I close to being. Uh, that being said, Ham is close to being legs. Both legs open. I don't think yeah. he's got the structure at this point. Elfcat closes it out. We're detecting no more hostiles. That's a that's a two zero. In uh, favor of the swords. All right. So now swords have the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and they are up 5-2 definitely overcomable but uh, definitely a good start for the swords yeah. I think that right there like 2d20 could have had that again just like just like they did the first set of 2v2s um, but this was the opposite right yep I just I think there was a lack of, communi of communication there and I think High Roller either went too early or the Warthog was just a lot too late uh, I think, uh, quite frankly, I think it was uh, a missing scouts. Um, I think they didn't know. I don't. I don't think High Roller knew he was there, and then turned that corner. Yeah. And, oh, here's two max, and then just got absolutely jumped. Um, sides are swapped now. I'm gonna switch this over to conquests. 
Hellbore yeah. Outpost. Oh, uh, whatever you want. If you want to swap this over to the map strat, I can oh, yeah, we can go maps. There's uh, should be swapping. There we are. We're on the map okay. strat. Yeah. So this is my favorite comp map in the entire game. I love this map so much. It's not like I totally didn't get stuck on here earlier. So, um, so right here we're playing against Sigma. Right, Sigma's on the far right hand side of the map. Which, uh, before today and and scrims, I've never played Sigma side at all. I had no idea this place existed, to be fair. So, we're going to cut the map right down the middle here. Because realistically, what both teams need to do is literally play from five line across into this side here. You have some really good control here down the five, six line with the rocks and everything. But you also have the a lot of cover on the seven as well to be able to grab, that, grab the cap. I think for this one, because this is the lighter of the two, I think what we're going to see is a lot of DPS roll. Straight up, right through the five line, QP style. Who who has the better focus fire? Who has the better shot calling? I think that's straight up what the fight's going to be. Yeah, this one ends up to be, ends up being pretty, um, pretty brawl focused. Yeah. So it's, Which, it's... I mean, that's kind of how, it's kind of how those lower tonnages end up working, you know, because a lot of your lights are not necessarily set up for a big trade or anything of the sort. It's more so, hey, I got to go fast and I have to do a lot of DPS, a lot of damage per second. I got to make sure I kill things quickly enough. So we'll probably see both teams use Vipers, I think. Um, hopefully. There's a lot of verticality think... this map, so Vipers are really the call. Um, but I don't know. You never know what people are going to bring. Um, I think we're going to see eight Vipers. Seeing some good play with some <laughs> Arctic Wolves. So eight Vipers yeah. would be incredible. I... Uh, that would be amazing. I would love that. I would love that. But quite frankly, I don't. I don't know what these teams are going to bring. Um, I think in in Div A, you're you're almost assured. Yeah. In this one, I don't know. Could could throw us for some loop, like a beam beam laser and uh, proto proto two. Yeah, of back. course. <laughs> you yeah, never know. I, I can under. I can understand the thought process on, process on it, right? Like, this mm -hmm. is a, a trade map. You need to put as much damage down as possible, which, in case you didn't, I didn't know if you knew or not, but there's a little bit of heat damage that comes from beams as well. Is there really? From what I've seen in testing, yes. That's weird. I, th I don't that know. That was advertised really nowhere. I, I don't know how, how true it is. I've seen, like, some test footage of it. But mm. I do believe that there's some. It could be getting fixed. I'm not sure. Right. Interesting. So he. It's something to do with the fact that it uses the flame bar mechanic and everything. But yeah. Oh, that, that's my mm, best guess. Yeah, that could make sense. That could make sense. God, the, my problem with beam lasers right now is they just take forever to uh, to cool off. Do you know if they are know. affected by the? Um, uh yeah that one yes oh are. good 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 just uh, so get again, updated in the description yeah um so team one was 190 team two is 200 so you got about that five ton difference really curious to see what teams are going to end up being brought uh i will fly over to the gamma side sounds good hey I love this map so much, Ivor. You have no idea how much I love this map. Now, I hear the sarcasm in your voice, but I legitimately like it. I... I get the frustrations, but when you know it's coming, I think it's a delightful map. In quick play, I, eh, I get it, but... Even in comp, I, I dislike it because there's so many places you can get stuck, which I got stuck three different times in my match today. Oh, interesting. I don't think yeah. I've ever gotten stuck on this map. Yeah. So, it's it's a pretty map, but yeah, I can't say any anything else about it being nice. So, <laughs> I like the verticality thought on it. Um, there's a lot of yeah. a lot of ups and downs, and I love that kind of play. It makes you think in more than just the 360, right? You have yeah, to think of the whole all three dimensions. Yeah, um, verticality on it is nice, I guess. Like it, yeah. it's very unique to it. So. Uh, over here I have 2d20. I got three Vipers, a 
Jenner 2C Fury, and then another Jenner 2C. The Jenner 2C is SRMs, probably looking at some sort of machine gun, small pulse on the Fury, and the Vipers are probably running your standard quo DPS. Yeah, so I've got a Huntsman, I've got a bunch totally of, are. a pack of, uh, oh boy, we're just SRMs. Huntsman, SRMs, a trio of Jenners, SRMs, and a Shadowcat Ultra 5, and two Ultra 5s, and a couple micro lasers, which is a little out, and I feel like a little undergunned, quite frankly. I feel like so, we could do something else with that, but it's got the range. It's going to put the DPS out when they get into it. Uh, this so, will be interesting. The 2D20 Vipers are actually running only three energies as opposed to the five you can normally see. So they went in favor for more agility, which that is getting removed next patch. For those that are not aware of the patch notes that came out uh, on Friday yesterday um yeah something like that okay yeah. yeah uh looks like the fight's already gonna be engaging both teams already scouted each other uh yep. 2d20 is a little bit spread out here not a big fan of that at all uh they need to hurry up and get into this yeah, fight they're gonna jump engage. across though they'll be okay yep. they're gonna link up and they're gonna jump on split yep, here. right here right now 2d20 is winning this uh yeah wanna... we'll see yeah uh swords and sabers taking uh taking their time zane though down to 59 percent yeah. already they they uh, they had the jump zane's doing a really good job using the jump jets off off yep. the viper to get in uh, verticality they need to focus sabers now. are still on zane here mm -hmm. zane uh still alive though uh nicely done yep. and damage is just not connecting everyone else is still above 80 mm. percent uh yeah El Elfcat uh, getting uh, run into by Flunky like Salsa Ham Ham Town. Ham's, Ham's about to go down. Split goes down by Corsair. Yep. Yeah, so both there goes SRM Javelin, uh, Jenners are down. I'm sorry. Oh, um, yeah. No, there's more SRMs. Elfcat goes down. Yeah, <laughs> Elfcat goes down on. in the shadow. Yeah, they need to find Zane and Zane's get his weapons off the still alive at 21%. There, there he we goes. Go. Gamer fixed that. Uh, Faxes going off. Uh, we got a 1v1 with Funky the Salsa. Yep. Uh, uh, and the Corsair. packet's about to go down. Its legs open, left Whoa, leg, right leg. That went Perfect. nice, beautiful. That and went then... from everything to nothing. Hetmana next on the block, I think, with Funky and Corsair. High yeah. roller, gonna try to get in there or hold off yeah. axes. Funky Corsair axes. did a really good job of splitting the jet, the Jenner there, but he ultimately he overheated and tried to shut down, save his heat, and yep. got killed for it. Yep. Hetmana for getting that override, get a little toasty. And there goes Faxes. All right, this is going to go to 2D20. You want to know how I knew that 2D20 was going to win this? Uh, sure. They engaged at the perfect opportunity. Yes. I don't know that that had as much effect as it initially seemed because they lost their first mech at the same time. Um, and additionally, Zane was also really messed up by the time those first ones went. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Sorensen's had the jump. Um, after that initial jump, um, I think it was a little botched. Um, Zane, you know, caught the fire, had to pull out, uh, source and savers had it. And okay. then it was, a. I think it was, it ended up being a focus fire, uh, is what yeah. made it after it. I don't think that jump had as much, as much to do with it. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful mm -hmm. jump. Don't get me wrong. Like that but, is what you want to do. Um, yeah, that was uh, textbook. Because every the one thing you've always noticed from two D twenty is they had a, they have really really good light light pack tactics. Really good just pack tac tactics in general. Yep. They showed that off in BFM. They showed it off in INC. Um, Zang did double digits of fifty eight, but he kept his viper alive to just under twenty percent. You know how impressive that is to get a Viper down to 20%. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. It's uh, <laughs> Especially oh. in a DPS fight like that. Hang on, something, something's not right here. Let me get you the actual scores here in just a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Give me... Scoreboard, there we go. There's the numbers that you all are looking for. All right. We're now going to up the tonnage to 275. But yeah, again, same thing I was talking about earlier while, while I was swapping around. Uh, yeah. Again, you're looking, realistically, the right-hand side of this map is going to get played unless it's like a Piranha running, like a Piranha D that's going to be running around and doing clan flea things, right? You can have a really nice setup to hold Sigma and really be a menace to society. But 
the crucial part of that is to make sure that you are communicating effectively, making sure you're fighting well, and not not losing your trades, right? So, because realistically, you can put a mech. I'm just going to use a shadow cat, for instance, because I'll send us over that to maps here. Yep. All right, good to go. Is so over here at the Delta Seven, you have this high point here. You can play. You can place a big trader right here, some right here, and again, the other thing to note is all. All right here is covered by foliage, rocks, everything of the sort. So you can get some really, really nice trade lines and everything. And then we'll use red for this side over here as well. But on the counterpoint right, you, like where they fought earlier, you can put... Excuse me. Put them. Thank you. Just... Bam, bam. Another point is you can put like a shadow cat there. You can also do a trader right about here. Again, you have a lot of coverage and a lot of ways to be able to pincer. Then you can also come up, if you're able to push this mech here off and make him go that way, you can just come here and just pressure. And uh, saw that saw that earlier um, from that particular, um, that particular location. I think... My personal thoughts about this tonnage and this uh and this drop here is this is like right on the cusp right mm -hmm. between where you can trade and where you can really get into that light brawl um you could push a fast brawl into a trade team here and they'd never see it coming yeah. based on the tonnage it's like but it feels right on the line to me like the next two drops absolutely they they trade all day with that but this will be interesting to see what these teams do i did we did see two trade happen earlier in my match um mm -hmm. With, with those lines and that sort of distribution, and it was really interesting and fun to watch. I kind of hope we do. Um, See a brawl a little bit? Well, I wouldn't mind a brawl. Um, or, or something a little hybrid-y with a little more, like a more of an aggressive brawl. Um, mm -hmm. You know, get some trades in there and then brawl. Uh, definitely possible at this so, stage. I also did put some Xs uh, through the six line here. If you get caught in a brawl, Oh, if you get caught yeah. here, you're dead. dead. You're one hundred percent dead. Yep. You might as well just go ahead and shut off your mech. <laughs> yeah. Do not do not fall. You will get uh, you will get wrecked unless the rest of your team is providing that absolute suppressing cover, which did happen earlier. There was a Timberwolf, I think it was, that fell down. Ended up having uh, walking all the way back and around, <laughs> um, having fallen down here. It was it was a bad time. Uh, yeah. Uh, both teams are locked, by the way. Excellent. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know for our match against Bob, uh, they actually pushed us with some Timberwolves, Vomit Timberwolves. Um, and we were able to just able to hold them off long enough and damage them enough for uh myself and Pwn or we had machine guns and just the regular vomit shadow cats and we were able to just yep. kind of go in there and clean up and then we had a vile shadow uh shadow cat miss its jump fall right into our laps and we ate him oh, alive yep. too that'll that'll be a so, big uh that'll be a big sway <laughs> yeah that's so, that's um, rough um, once again I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and fly on over oh you're in already mm -hmm. cool Uh, you're flying there... on over to where? Uh, the gamma side. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Earlier today, uh, oh goodness, I'm forgetting who it was. Um, someone was an absolute champion in a shadow cat on this map. Um, I think not quite champion enough, but it made it real close. Almost, almost clutched it. So, um, mm. shadow cat's very. Huh. Why are we picking up the steam overlay now? Weird. Okay. I mean, also speaking of shadow cats, they're getting nerfed next patch. Oh, they're losing What's... armor. Oh well, I guess that's kind of fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So teams are dropping in here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I've got a trio of Timberwolves and a duo of Mistlinxes over here. I'm going to check the builds on 2D20 here real quick. Uh, give me that. That's uh, machine guns on. At least one of the mislinkses, you never know. Oh. Yeah, machine guns there, and then ooh, small pulse brawl timbies. Brawl timbies. Are those All right. primes or S's? 
They are S's, all three. Oh, I'm sad, but makes sense. Yeah. So uh, we have a lock on alert. Uh, we have a Hal running four ATM nines and a tag. We have a five SRM six Artemis Arctic Wolf. We have a eight SRM six Summoner B. A Hunchback 2C with, you guessed it, two OBX20s, and then Elfcat running a Viper with 10 heavy machine guns and three ER micro lasers. That's so. an interesting mix. Yeah. Um, um, I think I don't can... know how the lock guns are going to work here. That's, that's, my, that's my concern. Honestly, there's... If you're not planning on holding the well actually you gotta hold the high ground because there is enough mm -hmm. ceilings here i'm yeah. looking at the sigma point there are so many ceilings that things can just hide under um yeah, just you know just don't be anakin and you're good to go right yeah absolutely listen to obi-wan you must uh yes. that being said we're straying more towards the middle so those ceilings may not even come into it mm -hmm. we're gonna run into these trees but it could be it's relatively really... open elf cat I'm a little worried about where they are. Um, yeah. I mean, granted, they also go like 140, so. Yeah. Um, that being said, there's just, I don't think they've scouted it at all. They're just looking. Mm -hmm. um, What's on the mislinks? Is it DPS? Uh, uh, machine guns, yeah. Okay. Uh, split found them, and they the... found Split. Oh, Split. Always, always Split. <laughs> and he's going to drop. Yep, that is Man. not a good spot you don't to be. have to worry about him at all uh yep. zane's making the jump across the heavens uh oh, and zane, doing no. great work zane. and he oh, catches he it. it but he's but alone no one does know he's it. alone he is zane. absolutely alone split's oh, gonna no. drop here split is waiting for zane to drop zane's gonna drop all the way down split's gonna clean up here uh yep. x is there as well ham's and... gonna try and fight off the arctic the rest of them are going to drop down to try to finish mm -hmm. off Zane, uh, not letting what happened last time happen again. Hamtown now presents himself in the middle of everyone as well. Uh, but Funky joins. I don't. Oh, man. They need to get in. Like, these Timbers need to get into this fight. Like, they have yesterday. to. Maelstrom is so far away yeah. right now. Uh, We're what do we got? Like... Ham and Funky holding the high the ground. Priority, the priority needs to be the Summoner B right now. You need to take him out, then go and focus on that Howl. Let your yep. actually let your mislinks work on the howl. There goes Corsair a timber. Goes down, yep. Mm -hmm, and everyone else needs to focus on that summoner B. He's down to forty three percent. Just kill him. Yep. Summoner is relatively out of the fight though, so they're gonna focus what's in front of him. It looks like, which is gonna be funky and Hamtown. Hamtown down to sixty seven percent. The summoner's CT ready to go. Just get the kill because this is a kill tournament. Yeah. Oh, right? absolutely. But they may not. No one may no. have called it. It may have just been target of opportunities. Mm -hmm. But yeah. There's Hitmon's uh, paper doll there. Uh, we got Maelstrom next to him and all the machine guns going. Maelstrom yeah, going yeah. down in the timber. Hitmon is still up in the summoner. Yeah. They need, a, they need to get him down. down. Hamtown working on him, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Uh, let's see. X's. There goes and Ham. Down. Uh, Funky's going to go down here. X's is. Oh, Funky. There it is. Wow. Just great idea. Overall. Yeah, great idea. Poor execution. Yeah, don't miss the jump. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't miss the jump. That that hurt. That was a there whole was neck a bridge out. you could have taken. You, yep. There was a bridge. Yeah, like the jump is great. It was a good idea, but oof, missing it. Um, yeah, looking at the. Let me get the. Um, let me get the big strats up here. In the meantime, let's yeah. take a look at that. So X is six thirty three in the how. I think he did a great job, especially uh, using the quirks to his advantage. Split down to five sixteen from the hunchback two C. Uh, over there on the two to twenty side, your big damage boys are going to be Corsair and uh, Lord of Hamtown. So again, two to twenty, good idea, poor execution. Yep, yep. That's Straight um up. honestly work on those jumps in uh in mm -hmm. um in the testing grounds. That's that's the solution there. Um, because yep. I remember having to do that for um for Vitric, you know that uh, bottom to bottom to top jump. The Mario a, jump. You gotta yep. know. You gotta know where you're going. If you don't, you're not gonna make it. So practice, yep. practice on that one. All right. So then now I'll go ahead and send us over to... to the maps if you want to go take a look at uh, Costa. Absolutely. While you're doing all the magic behind the scenes, I can talk a little bit about this map. This is Caustic, uh, everyone's favorite toxic wasteland. 
So the middle, the main cap here is going to be Theta. Theta is going to be covered around by a lot of rocks and everything of sort. However, this is going to be a primary, primarily a big trade map as in a lot of the higher end divs. You can push on this map, but really the key there is speed. And I think due to the tonnages, um, it's a little bit more difficult to do, per se. Um, you can... The how would have been perfect here for a push, I think. But um, I can see it. Yeah, so you gotta... Again, you have your really big standard trade spots. Uh, I'm gonna mark it in pink for everybody to see so we can love on this map as much as possible. So you got here. Uh, here as well. Then you got the volcano here. Uh, the entirety of the D3 line is a Pop Tarts paradise. Oh, 100%. Yep. Right here, because you have all these rocks and stuff you can use. Um, another side that really does get played a whole lot. Echo 6 is a really good side spot here. Yep. Um, right here is a little bit difficult to play as well. So just because of, you know, mounts and everything of the sort. So. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, again, hard to tell with these teams. I mean, Duty 20 pulling some interesting stuff. I yeah. wonder if we'll see some more missiles. It's workable. Yeah, I mean, Less workable than it used to be on the old one, but um, mm -hmm. it would not surprise me if we had a little repeat of what happened, just a little heavier. Um, with some missile yeah. mechs coming up the rear uh, against a push, which could be very, Wait. very good. But they have to be careful not to get in crossfire. Um, that is going to shut down. Mm -hmm. Saw some pushes from uh, Mantra earlier today. They went through the middle, which is the fast, fastest way to get there, but they were spotted from so long away and just were able to get traded, um, just traded down by the time they got there. So it's, uh, it's tough to... Um, it's uh, it's tough to do a push on that. You got to do something sneaky. I would love to see something sneaky. Let's think out of the box on this one. Yeah. Think it out of the box, right? So if you really wanted to push, you could push on the six line or the three yeah. line. However, mm -hmm. it's going to take a lot more time. Um, me, if I was going to do a push track, straight up, just Colossus, Summoner B, right through the middle. Go as fast as you can. You need to go fast. Speed is your ally. I Yeah, I Team saw Mantra one, do think... that with uh, with Gargoyles and Xyz in back-to-back -back drops, and it did not end well. They just Gargoyles because... aren't fast enough. The They're Xyz not. weren't fast enough. The Xyz were worse than the Gargoyles. Yeah. The Gargoyles actually crossed without getting broken. Um, honestly, um, they got mm. spotted, like, right about as they cost Theta, and then it was just trade from, you know, well, either side. Yeah. Um, and just took them out. It was, it was, it was pretty... Pretty nasty to watch, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think I think the more cover around the side, yeah, it takes some time, but you're gonna catch if they're set up in a flank, you're gonna catch it on the side instead of in yeah. the middle of a concave. That's the difference, and it, obviously it depends on what team you're against too. Um, if they're really good traders, they're gonna catch you out. Oh, we're locked yeah. like immediately. All right, three seventy five to three seventy. Nice. So yeah. one thing I can say, team one I think is better at receiving pushes than team two. Team two is also better to push from than. Team one, yeah, I believe. So I can see it. <laughs> this is the second to last division, correct? So this is going to um, be some of your vet guys mixed in with some brand new, if I remember uh, correctly. What are we, H? Yes, that is correct. I is complete noobs to comp, not necessarily to mech. So that one, I think, is uh, might be interesting to watch. I haven't caught any of those matches, yeah. really. Um, but yeah, this one um, almost on had the... a... You're on which side? I'm on the Kappa side. Okay. Let's go with across. With the sabers. So, um, coming from Sabres, you got two Summoner Bs, one Mad Cat Mark II B, Orion 2CC, and then a Hellbringer Prime. So, Summoner is naturally going to be SRMs. Hellbringer is one of the x Tony, two Flamers, three Heavy Mediums, and one AP Goss. He said, I'm going to shove everything to make this set of eight work. On the C, you have two OBX 10s, three SRM 4s. That catch should be standard. It's not standard, Daka. It's two ultra twenties and two year mediums. Oh, did you what go over my there? side? <laughs> what? 
Well, what's going on over Are you there? On, were you on 2d20 or sabers? Sabers. What? There's no mat. Oh, there is a mad cat on sabers. All right, there it is. Sorry. I don't know what to make of this. I, I'm looking at a mad cat over here and you're saying, I'm like, I don't see it. anyway. Um, I've got Zane here in an Orion with AC 10s and SRMs. I've got a um, maelstrom in basically the same thing. The mad cat running two beams and four LB two X's LBX two. Sorry. Uh, we've got another mad cat with two large pulse and four AC five. And then we've got a double peep shadow cat, which I don't know. That seems real toasty these days. Um, yeah, arguably but, the two year peep is now undergunned. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I basically, especially for the heat. Ooh, we're going to get a clash here. That's not good. Yep. Scrappy's all off on his own on theta. This is a five V four here mm -hmm. as split again, takes the initial fire down to 80%. Yeah. 76, 73. He's getting caught by his own teammates trying to recycle out the armor. Here comes the yep. summoners. Um, not a big fan of those of uh, those Mad Cat Mark II builds coming from 2D20. Um, yep. Understand the precipice, the, the what they're trying to do with it. Yeah. I think, yeah, they could just do it Premises. better, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Maelstrom yeah. opened here and tucked mm -hmm. in. Yeah, I think this is in Saber's favor right now. I think they're in a really, really good spot here. Yeah, and Scrappy being a little undergunned, if he was running like the Mishipeshu Brawl build or or even the lasers, uh, I think he'd make more of This is the perfect thing. opportunity. 2020 yep. needs to go now. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. X is getting uh, pulled by Scrappy. Uh, and here we go. 2D20 looking like they're gathering for the push. Uh, Scrappy now in the fight, evening it yeah. out. But Maelstrom still can Yep. Uh, split his leg and uh, about to get open in that left. He's getting yeah, halved there's again. There's the halved. We've got a diagonal back here. Yeah. Uh, X they is trying to, to push Scrappy him. off of the top in the summoner, but 2d20 push into him. Push into him. It's like 5v4. Go. You got this at the half. Go. Shove it. Do it. They're, push it literally... real good. <laughs> They're uh, stuck in a bowl. This is the worst place for them to be right now. They need to go for yeah. it. Yeah, Maelstrom, Maelstrom's going to go. Or not. Ma maybe. Nor maybe. Maelstrom, do the thing. I think Maelstrom needs to pull up the back. I think Maelstrom's probably yelling at them like, I can't do this. Go. I will yeah. back you up, and which is the thing to do. Because Maelstrom uh, is hurt. Let's take a look at Hedmana here. Oh, here Hedmana comes X. opens here comes CT. Here. X is over the top. You let him get there. That's not good. Where's Scrappy? Scrappy needs to go uh, push him off. Uh, but Maelstrom probably halved. Is that what we're looking at? Yeah, Maelstrom yeah. halved. Down to the AC tanks, which is nothing to sneeze okay. at, but... Which I think is okay. Oh, 2d20 go. 2d20 go. They're split up. Go. They have the HP advantage. They're literally throwing this match by not going. Yeah. Which is, thank you. They're doing it now. There we go. All right. Maelstrom at the keeping... front, though. Not ideal. Maelstrom probably saying, fuck it, I'm going. Um, yeah. There's my one F bomb I'm allowed. The back is okay. <laughs> yeah. I think it's okay because he has a DPS to yeah. be able to kind of stop at least a mech. But Maelstrom. he's getting pushed right now. He gets legged. Yep. Elfcat goes down. Maelstrom goes down. Corsair down. cooks. Uh, Faxes takes uh, Zane out as well. Faxes looking rough. High roller going down. Oh, no. Historic hook swords. Split nine. All right. They gain a point off of split nine. Come on, Scrappy. You got this. You can take Faxes, maybe. At least have him. I don't what? think Scrappy's going to get away. Nope. That summoner from X is open everywhere. Everywhere, all of like all of them are real messed up. Hetmana should no. have like opened CT the for armor, two minutes now. X, yeah, the only armor X has is on his head. Yep. Uh, no, he's back. It. He's got back. Got back oh. <laughs> Probably okay. one or two. No ammo. No armor. No arms. There we go. X's. Yeah. That that, uh, that could have been two D twenties. There were there were so many yeah, openings just, that just didn't get taken. Yeah. And like split was down to sixteen percent before he died. Yeah. So I just again just a little more focus or a push or there's so many things that two D twenty could have done. I really hate to say things these ways, but I think that was lost by two D twenty more than it was won by the Sabers. Yeah, absolutely. Like they stayed in that bowl in that low ground for so long. They had the HP advantage. They had the weapon damage. They had everything going for at them. At some point, the saber split, so it was like five on three. It would have been a wild push if they were able to get it, but it just didn't like, happen. Look, look at those damage numbers. Oh from my god! Two, look at them all. Two pilots did seven hundred damage, and X only is the only one that broke seven hundred on the saber's side. And at that, he had he used all of his ammo, as we could see. Yeah. 
and um, all his armor. Yeah, like that's very efficient summoner uh, summoner use. Yeah. Um, so again, just the just too late on everything. Yeah, like that's I'm gonna. The only way to say it. Let me let me open up a projector here so I can I can look at these numbers a little better because I'm curious about the team damage because we were looking at yeah Hetman and the summoner with 21 percent on that yeah there's a fair amount of team damage there not as much as I expected because uh, who was it it was a uh, high roller that looked like mm -hmm. he was catching it from his team which if all this damage is high roller that's about 40 that's not too bad yeah and uh, the corsair also cooked himself too so yeah there's just yeah. Again, just, I mean, a straight-up clash on the three line. That's all that is. Just a straight-up clash. So we'll probably see another one coming from these two. I navigated away before I recorded the score. One second. Uh, it was no five to two in favor of the Sabres. Mm -hmm. And just to remind everybody, this is, in fact, a kill tournament. So every kill is a point, and a win is a point as well. And I do believe that is how the divisions are being decided based off of winners. So uh, the more... Yeah, if there's a whole correctly? there's yeah. a whole stack. It's points first, and then I think it's mechs killed against, and then it's win record, and then it or no, it's win record. Then I, I'll look it up in just a second. Let me get the side swap. But yeah, yeah. there's Go a ahead. there's a whole um there's there's a whole set down, and if if it goes through four tiebreakers and is still not tied, it goes to a duel, <laughs> which yeah. I love. I love that. All right. Um. But yeah, so every kill matters, every po every win matters. So yeah, it's just it's one of those things. It's just you gotta you gotta kill everybody. Yep, and you, you gotta do it quickly. You can't leave a sixteen percent mech on the board. Like you you gotta gotta close those kills, mm -hmm. even over the win. So as I was about to say at the beginning of this match last week with historic swords versus um. God, I'm blanking on who their uh, who their opponent was. Uh, I have it pulled up. Metal awesome. Gear Squadron. That's the one. Uh, Metal Gear, I think, was ahead at the beginning of this one. Um, but had there been one more point, because they won a match based on points, uh, based on <laughs> tickets, um, and they had two left alive. Uh, with the with the loss that happened, there would have been a losing. A team that lost above the team that beat them, basically on round one, which would have been wild if one more if one more uh, kill had been secured by one of the teams. It's a weird twist. So it was kill so count. They so count. Actually, speaking of which, where are we? We are twenty to ten right here in favor um, of the hook swords. TOS is a tournament. It Accurate. is definitely a very a very unique one. Yeah, I like the I, honestly I liked when it was had domination in it. I know I'm gonna get crucified for that, but uh it was another thing that teams have to think about, right? And and that's what I yeah. love about them. It's just like let's make things interesting and make you think about things other than just regular, you know, conquest matches right. of varying amounts of teams. Like these are the restrictions. If you cap that bomb circle before you get those kills, that's on you, you know? Pay attention. Yeah. Don't get that bloodlust. So, it's control and intentionality, and I love it. Remember back in 22 with MOR2 when they did domination on every other drop? Was that M MOR? I thought that was TOS that, that was, did that. Okay. It was. That's what I'm talking had about. It, and yeah. TOS had it as well. Um, so this is my first TOS playing. I've typically skipped this comp. Mm. Um, that in preparations for worlds, but yeah, so um, yeah, MOR used domination as well, and I think we won a couple matches because we were able to just to take the circle from the other team. Uh, I don't remember what DPS team you played for. Did you play for mine I think or did it was you play the, for levels? No, I played for levels. Oh, it was the one before that that uh, TOS had it because I remember. Um, when yeah. we were when we were both on DPS, we uh, totally borked it by hanging out inside the circle, um, and losing out on critical points. Yeah. Um, and you know, even being on that side of it, I still love it because you know, oop, never mind. Go. So. Uh, but yeah, 
I think both teams are going to be locked here. Both are stacking yep. Bravo Charlie. Both are going to be at 435. Max tonnage is... Uh, 450. 450? Both so teams we're pretty off. light. I wouldn't say that's pretty light, but I think it's going to be a brawl for both sides. Yeah, I would I agree. Think we're gonna, I'm going to just call it out of the blue. We're going to see four Colossuses and an Incubus. Four Colossuses? No one's pulled a Stone Rhino. We might see eight Colossuses. Ooh. Let's bring the heavy metal. No, because I think, uh, what would that be? That would be 400 and, what were they at? 35. 35 and a light? So like four Colossus and a Scout? That, I don't, I want it. I want it so bad. That would be I'm amazing. I don't think we're going to get it. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Gamma side. All right. Or you bring the old QLDX 20 is an Ultra 20 and four SRM 6. Yeah, but it's, it's the 100 tonner count, right? We're... Yeah. If we've got 400 tonners, we have a 35 ton light, and I, I don't. We'll yeah, see. Incubus, Incubus 5. Incubus would be good. Oh, Incubus 1v1 over Theta while the Colossus yeah. battle in the background. Oh, be still yeah. my filming with, heart. With Plasma and AP. Plasma AP. Oh, that's a call. That's a call. I want it. Yeah. I want it, Dyer. I'm ready to be disappointed, but I want it. I am. Well, unironically, like, Plasmas are going to be really good. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that week. damage boost. They're they're yeah. an interesting weapon. I like what they've done, and they just didn't have a spot when they released. It was, I, they kind of did, but kind of didn't. Um, yeah, the heat was not worth it. You know, the heat damage yeah. is interesting, but it's it's not adding it's, enough to the PPC. It's basically a, a worse PPC. It's not adding enough heat. If they added more heat, like they they added, I don't know, nah. like ten points of heat. I think, I think that'd be interesting, but. I think the damage increase is perfect. I think that so, is, yeah, that is the other way to go about it. Um, ooh, we got Stone Rhinos, just not the Colossus. Yeah. Uh, um, over here on the Saber side. on the other side, too. Okay, go for it. Uh, we got a SR1, two SRR4s, a Executioner M, and a Viper F. From Split, the Viper's going to be, again, that DPS one. SR1 is two Ultra 20s, two Gauss Rifles, one year large, four year Micros. Uh, then the fours, we're looking at one of them has six ultra fives. The other one is going to be six LB2s with two mediums and the XC's four year large, 12 year micro. All right. So we've got a basically Gauss ER large uh, dire wolf. So I'm not going to dig too deep into them. Um, we've got a Vigil here, a Vigil three. Interestingly enough, a little bit of laser bomb with the AMS. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, and then we've got um, a pair of Rancors, uh, one of which has the 6ER large build that you would expect. The other one decided just to be super hot uh, and bricks bring six small pulse lasers alongside. Um, Ooh, so that's actually not that bad. That really isn't. That's I prefer the six, I, the six small pulse over the just the standard 6ER large. Interesting. That, interesting. That, gives you, that gives you the ability to fight at a closer range if needed. It no, gives it, you that, I, yeah. that, hey, bug off. No, no, so, I, um, I, I get it. It's just, what are you giving up to get it? Um, I'm not too familiar with that build. So it seems like so, dropping a couple of things to make it hot. And it's already hot. Yeah. Um, so these dyers coming from 2D20, the, all the guns are in the arms. Wait, really? Did they do that? They're using the prime arms on oh. Direwolf Seeds, which I'm assuming they're using ECM on. Um, and I am not a fan. Yeah, that's an interesting... I did not expect that. Yeah, so, because historically a lot of dyers are going to be oh. right side stacked. Um, however, yeah. you know, with the recent the nerf to the dire wolf W left torso with the range cord going down from 10 to 5, you kind of start to see a little bit more different dire builds. Um, you know, you can do an all side, you can do an all torso uh, four year large two goss dire. Sorry, my apologies. Zane, I've been up to this Zane is just, uh, yeah. Zane has just been catching it here. I thought Hetmana was getting out traded, but um, Zane is the one that's really in pain here. I'm going to take a look at that paper doll yeah. here. Um, yeah, just kind of uh, one of those arms is really, uh, really, really toasty down. here. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just. Getting about half a burn in there. Um, and before sweep. Yeah, Zane is Zane is pulling about three quarters of a burn on the shots here. Half to three quarters before twisting away. And like um, you could run that build on a you could run that build on a prime, put another ear large in your head, and yeah. still get really, really good heat quirks and just 
you know just yeah have it's... a little bit more of that's okay. These and to be fair, these are the uh, these are new teams and or new teams with good players, uh, or rather veteran players and uh, and and a mix, right? So this is uh, this is potentially a team that uh, has some learning to do, and that is a yeah. great maelstrom. Eighty two percent. Something's open here. That's the 81. color of open. That is a side torso. Yeah. That's not what you want to see. So again, this was that spot I was talking about earlier. That's not really good. Which, uh, where are you looking at? Uh, where Ham and Maelstrom is. It's not really yes. good for your trades, especially stacking two. One is okay. The Blood Asks, I think, are perfect for it. But you really mm. need to move one of those Blood Asks somewhere else. Get more of a out of the way. Like where yep. Scrappy is, right now, you put the one with the small pulses, you put it over there, yep. and you have crossfire for days. Yep. However, if you notice, Sabres is starting to push forward and started getting closer and they're optimal for their guns. Yeah. Um that being said, Elf Cat is just taking it right now. Um not sure. really enough cover here. Uh we are at sixty eight percent half open. So yeah, I think Elf Cat's gonna lose a shoulder here, which is gonna significantly affect that flank. Uh which should allow yeah. Scrappy to get in on there. Honestly, if, if Scrappy got a little aggressive here, uh pulled a flank, uh took half of Elf Cat, that would be that would be rough on the Sabres. Um instead yeah. we've got I think this rotation over to the other flank, uh, and Zane is going to catch it on the other side. And Zane's doing can, all right. Zane's doing all right. Yeah, I can understand the concept of thought for this SR1. You're basically giving yourself a long range trade capability with DACA mid range in support, which. Zane now I open, uh, split, going to take that torso. Zane's in trouble. Zane is yeah. in absolute trouble on this flank. That was a great, well, I, yeah, yeah. pick up half a mech on split. Like he's gonna, he's gonna get the rest here, but yeah. just pushing Zane back with forty tons. Well yep. done. And, and right actually, now, it looks like Scrappy's getting a push on Elfcat over here. Yeah, yeah right now, Sabers is taking map control away. Yes. Uh, Scrappy well, needs to hurry up and kill that mech. Yep. And kill uh, and it's real, now. real close. Uh, well, not as close as it looks by the numbers. <laughs> Um, Scrappy just laying in Elfcat's back. Elfcat can't find the cover. Uh, getting some shots against Scrappy, but this is spread damage. Uh, there is there is no no armor left on any of the torsos. Z Zane goes Zan down. Uh, Elfcat pushing Scrappy back. Uh, Elfcat is one touch. Hit mana turning. Like All right, it. we've got the split. There we go. We've got the yep, split. Hit mana next up. He has to fight two Daka Stone Rhinos. Well, he can kind of get up. There's enough There's enough uh, cover here to run. He's going to take some damage, but he can get out. He's got some cover. And ultimately, Sabres uh, are giving up that push that they had on that flank, right? Yep. Um, Split's going to come up here and push Jeff on a buff. But Jeff's on 92%. Yep. But he doesn't know. And well, well, he knows now. Now he does. Uh, that could have been a difference. Uh, Split taking just Don't grazing show your back shots. To him. Yeah. Fight him. Yep. Oh, left a strike. He he dropped a strike on Jeff. Um and is gonna go Split. after Scrappy. Scrappy coming back to support. I that Veagle made a good time. Good time mm -hmm. across that. Uh where's Maelstrom in that blood ass? Still open, still the same open, or have we halved yet? No, it was the same open. So yeah, Maelstrom was getting some He's good free go trades, down. but He's yeah. Just just, just got caught out in the yeah. open and that uh lost the override yeah. there. Love um, the great Death Legion logo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get a sweeping shot in here as we go and check out what's happening on the inside. We got split on the inside here. Historic gamer with the pop tarting. And uh yeah, I'd say Sabres, there's there's no deceptive percentages here. Sabres just with the one like pretty much a whole mech advantage. Yeah. At mana is open here on the side, but Let's see, split could not do too much, just make a nuisance of himself. They've just got the, the trade lines here, uh, 2d20, doing all right with the trades. Yeah, Sabres literally doesn't have to do anything right now. Yep. They have oh, the yeah, mech they've advantage, had the, the cap advantage, the They've HP had the cap advantage. for a while, too. Yeah, this is uh, yeah. almost... We're almost unrecoverable here. Um, so 
Literally, it's on, like, they just have to wait to see what 2D20 does and just beat them. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see, Scrappy coming along the side here, looking for angles on Historic. What are we rocking on that vehicle again? ERs, L, and mediums, and larges. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's got some firepower to, to get some plinks in, but he is open leg. That could be real bad. This isn't the rival. There's no mask. Gets a couple of shots on, which is letting Ham and Buffalo move. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. So they are off their perch. Well, now Split may or may not know where they are at this point. Yeah. Um, oh, there goes Scrappy's think... leg. That's it. Split's going to come and take the other one. I think so far, I think Sabres have just been oh. able to out mech lab almost every single time. Yep. Oh, no. Split Split might uh, be on the losing end of this. There yep, it is. There it goes. Split goes down. That was that was fairly major. Split was... Um... Scrappy's going to try and save himself so they don't get that extra point, which, yep. again, huge play. But... but also be able to shoot into this as well. So Scrappy's not out of it. Yeah. Uh, Ham here going after Hetmana. If uh, he can take that side torso, which is open, that might shift the balance a little bit. Jeff is not doing the smart thing; is face tanking that Daka Ooh, SR4. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. We However, see that in the distance. I like this trade up. I like this. Yeah, it looks like Jeff and Historic are going at it. Fax is trying to get an angle, being held off by Scrappy. Hetmana is released. Uh, oh, here we go. Jeff and Historic. Jeff loses uh, a leg. Historic here. Barely beat up. Let's see. Loses an arm. Historic shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lost an arm and shut down. Uh, and also has uh, Anton on it. This is a two or potentially 3v1 on Historic. Uh, which is... Um, Scrappy. Oh. Like his name being Scrappy. Oh, and absolutely. Holding off a stone rhino. 100 percent go like here comes a super fresh one gonna rotate out right. with the xd and just oh fax do what is he's here. gonna do best they can get that torso that torso is open and ready to go come on just straight ux oh they got historic and yes historic that's what we were nice. talking about well don't well let done. them sit on the field having said jeff on a buffalo in a rough spot hamtown it's up to hamtown here mm -hmm. who is firing out of range or into the wall there goes there goes fax's half Fax open mm -hmm. uh, other other torso. I think 2D20s have this. It's real rough. Ooh, there Jeff's goes down. Jeff. It's close. Yeah. There's no guns left on that Stone Rhino. It's literally 1v2 at this point in time. Yep. Yep. Let's take a look at Hetmana as this goes down. Hetmana still has all left weapons. Torso. He, left that, torso. Left torso. Get that left torso. Come on, Come on. Ham. You got it. There, there go. it is. Ham's got it. And now it's... Uh, Oh man. How's Ham doing? Ham, Ham's doing push. all right. Just shove. Oh, Just Ham's shove legs. S -S -Pulse. Oh, they're going to lose Scrappy. Oh, they're gonna lose Scrappy. Ooh, there it goes. All right, Rancor versus uh, Stone Rhino. Let's take a look. Stone Rhino has a lot of armor. Uh, Ham is, Stone Ham's Rhino's legs are now. real open though. Yeah, he needs to use oh, that dead leg. Oh, it's so to... close. We've no, oh, not enough. So close. That was, that's a two damage difference game. Yeah. Maybe two and a half, given that really, it's a Stone really... Rhino. That's so yeah, close. Yeah, that was a, a good finisher. I think that was just looking at the damage numbers there. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at that. We'll get Farm. a, we got a breakdown. Yeah. Right. A little bit. Farm. <laughs> Farm alert. <laughs> Farm. That's the uh, second. Um, I was watching someone, someone else's um, match was a, uh, had like an 1100 match as well. Yeah. We've got a couple this week. Well done, sir. 1100 and a rancor. Well That's, done. Yeah. And also being open for probably like eight minutes of that match. Um, he was open for so long um, and never got it taken out. Yeah. There we are on those, uh, on those stats. Take a look at that. Yeah. Just wow. What a 220 what tried to pull it. Yeah. They really tried to pull that out. And they almost did. Lot. Yeah. Oh my God. I Just some slight movement quicker. Just, just a little bit of micro stuff, right? And they could have, like, 2D20 could have pulled this out of the bag. Yeah. Just a lot of little different things, you know? Uh, but again, this is what we're looking three. for, right? This is a lot of newer players, some of, some more vet guys that are teaching newer pilots, right? 
Yeah. Uh, well, theoretically, I don't know exactly what the uh, what the mix is, but that's that's the general yeah. idea of that one. Uh, yes, this is five to three on there, which will bring our final score. Unless I've messed something up, which I've been known to do from time to time, uh, is twenty six points for the Hook Swords and thirteen for Clan Saber Goose. Clan Saber Goose, I think, was on top of this division it was. tournament. Yeah. So uh, this is going to catapult. Uh, the hook swords in and it looks like metal gear and ray and the ravens is tentatively in it doesn't look like it's firmly in there on tournament so i don't know if there's still adjustments going on um but yeah that's going to be both these teams are significantly ahead of uh, their rivals in here so we'll see how this division plays out yeah, uh, so some of the scores have already been put in for the match so far so right now at dsc's leading uh Leading Deve for first, uh, pending the Fidelis match. Um, you know, DSC with 45 points, Vile 45. You have two, two, eight, R with 35. Um, and then you have Clan Crossfire sitting very firmly at 51 points. I do believe Misa is playing right now. Yeah, so depending on the outcome of that match, that could be pretty close because there's 30 on the line here. So Clan Crossfire is yeah. definitely within striking distance of Misa. And then Potato Carry could also, if they manage, uh, pull up. And actually, Redacted, um, honestly, if Redacted gets three, that puts them real close. That puts them mm, tied on points. Yeah. Um, so, so, yeah, real close to Vision B. Yep, just like uh, BFM. Yep. Uh, Division C, uh, let's see where we're sitting here. DPS. AW and Tika, DPS. Yeah, well, DPS uh, uh, threw it in true DPS fashion. Uh, 25 6, I think, is the ending of that, give or take. Oof. Um, so, yeah, depending on what aces do versus the Scalawags, um, that's gonna, there's gonna be a big shift there. I think they're playing right now, actually. Yes, they very well might be. Um, Take a quick look at and then here. Fjord Declassified leading Div D, 52 points. Helgrim right behind. I think they're still pending some matches. Delta Galaxy, again, very strong lead. I think, again, Oof. pending some matches. Yeah. Um, that's a that's a 57 points. That's three points off of perfect scores. That's commanding. Unironically, really, really loved the Operation Joke match last week. So there's that. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, Good stuff happening oh, all around. We don't need to go through yeah. every division here. We can yeah. just wrap this. But uh, well played, both teams. Thank you, Dyer, for uh, co-casting here. Hey, thanks so much for having me. It's been a lot of fun. Heck yeah. And uh, stay tuned for more fights. Go check out the other MWO League's channels. Just, uh, you know, delete the number or add a three. I don't think we're casting on four at the moment. We might be. I don't think so. We are not. No, all I right, we are on League's, League's two and three. Yeah. Um, also, so go check one of those because I can't read. <laughs> CS is coming up, the big one. So yeah. that's going to be the fun one. There's going to be some fun things coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got some peeks behind the scenes of what's coming. It's uh, There's some goodies, and it uh, should be some good fights as well. Yeah. All right. That being said, catch you later, everybody. Go check out one of the other channels and have a great solar position, wherever the hell it is for you. <laughs> Bye-bye.